So today we are putting feet on chairs, something which I do as I see they're needed, but something I have not done in like 10 years where I went through all of them. So we've gotten all the chairs separated that don't have feet. Also the chairs separated that uh, are messed up a little bit with, where are they? Where we've lost a screw or something. So those have feet, but they need to get another screw in them. But we've been putting feet on all day and you can buy feet from the manufacturer, from a third party like Advantage Tent Fittings or uh, Fred's Tents or RSS Distributors. Pretty much anyone that sells stuff for the event rental business, you can find chair feet that match the color chair that you have. Um, so let me show you how we do that. So we just put all the chair feet in some hot water. Here's all the chairs that we we're replacing the feet on. Uh, we separated these all out earlier. We will put them in hot water and then we actually put a, them in a chafing dish with the sternos underneath to keep it hot. If you don't have chafing dishes, you just need really, really hot water. A hot water makes them soft enough to put on. If they're not um, made pliable, it's very hard to get on. Some of them you can just push on. Some of them don't get as soft and you have to use a rubber mallet or a hammer to get it on. But if it's in hot water or if you've got some sort of heat gun that blows hot air, you can do each one individually. See, this one is really uh, pliable. So I'm just gonna take it and put it on and it goes easy. And once it cools down, it contracts and stays on, hopefully. So that's how we replace feet. Uh, when I first started trying to replace feet, I would just push them on and hammer them on and they would, because they're not pliable, they it would be really hard. They wouldn't go on straight and you had to hit it this way and that way until it got on and it would take forever. And then I started using a heat gun, which, is one of these. I got this one from Harbor Freight. It just blows hot air. I hold them with a needle nose wrench, needle nose pliers, and heat them up. But that way does take a long time. So we found putting them in really, really, really hot water uh, works the best. And then keep it hot by putting a flame underneath it. If you don't have the flame, just keep replenishing your hot water. A chair uh, bottoms, chair feet kind of suck. They come off and there's no real good way. I've tried super gluing, I've tried Loctite. Uh, they're still gonna come off. There's a lot of force when you're moving them around, when they get transported up and down the lift gate, when they get ratcheted, they just they just come off. And you know, the feet aren't that expensive, so you can take you know half a day sometime or a few hours just to replace a few. I think we just did 100 of them and it took like 20 minutes. So it's not half a day. Uh, or as you go, just replace them. And when they fall off, grab them and put them in your pocket. We actually have a coffee tin thing up in the back of the trucks so that if a foot comes off, they can all go in there. And then I have a box usually that's up there where we keep the feet. Uh, Cause what, I'm gonna reuse the feet that came off. I'm not gonna throw those away. They just came off. And then if we end up really missing, like they got missed in a yard or whatever, and then you got to buy new ones. Anyways, that is Feet on Chairs. Thanks for watching.